So I got a bowl here. I got my achiote paste. It is Sunday morning. I'm trying to have a swig of coffee. It's like eight o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. In 24 hours, I plan on starting to cook this, so I'm gonna get everything ready. I have orange juice, I have lime juice, I have cloves, uh, cinnamon, uh, ground cinnamon. I think that's it. Let me check my recipe. Garlic. garlic. Okay, I have garlic. That's not a problem. But it's probably the most important part simply because um, you want to let this sit in this mixture. I think 24 hours seems about right. So here's our pork butt. This is a four pound, 4.2 pound pork butt. Um, it was $12.56. And with this, I'll have about four meals, four full big delicious meals, I hope. So it's a great value. It takes a little bit of time, but it's not complicated. Like we were looking at a, a, a woman that was making on Food Network, on the Cooking Network, um, like a beef Wellington. I wouldn't mind trying to tackle a beef Wellington at one point, but that's a lot of work. Whereas this, this is probably the hardest part right here out of everything making sure you trim out. You want to trim out some of this fat because it's just a lot. And like if it's pure thick fat like that, it's not not worth it. So like the way it's shaped like this, I'm just going to cut it across and then cut it diagonally. Actually, let me cut it diagonally first. I sharpened my knife. I got a nice knife sharpener and look at that, like nothing. Just cuts through it like nothing. And a beautiful straight cut like that. Now it's laying more flat like that. Can you see that? Let me see if my angle's right. So now they're like this. This is a great shape. You couldn't ask for a better shape. So I'm just going to cut them into slices that are about an inch long. And with a nice sharp knife like this, it doesn't do it. makes it easy work. Actually, I'm missing a step here. What one thing I need to do, because this won't take but a minute, is take my achiote paste out. Okay, today I learned something and I made a mistake. There is, I did not know there was achiote verde. I didn't know there was green. I took this out and I was like, it looks weird. And I looked at the box, verde. I was like, I want rojo, which is red. Now, it's easily fixable. And I have, I guess that my next project is making a achiote verde mix of some sort. So, what I'm going to do, I have all the other ingredients soaking, and now I'm going to take my, take my paste, um, how am I going to cut this? I like to cut it up. I mean, ideally what you would do is like make um buy the little the little granules and mix them all up and make your own little mix with it but this is um easier and it tastes delicious so um you can criticize whatever you want but buying this achiote paste saves a lot of time and resources and just everything 
So, I'm going to let, oh, actually, I need this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it sit in there. It's already dissolving a little bit. I'm going to let this sit in here for a good 10 minutes and let it dissolve. And then I'm going to add this in. I've already been letting it soak in cumin, cinnamon, tablespoon of each, tablespoon of oregano. I, it says I, salt and pepper, but I use Hamburger Deluxe because I use that for everything. So another tablespoon of this. Remember, with this four pounds of meat and three cloves. The cloves, if I find them before I start putting them in to bake, to cook, I'll take them out, but I'm not too worried about it. So for now, I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and let it get soft. So that way I can dissolve it into the orange juice, add the orange juice, mix it up, and then we'll be ready for tomorrow. So see how nice and pretty that color is now? It's not completely dissolved, but I think it's soft enough that I can squish the rest of it if I need to. So I'm going to finish this off. This is finally going to add my the pretty color that we want. chunks I just pick them up and squish them in my fingers just just to make that paste it's gonna stain your hand just a little bit but it's not that big of a deal so I want this to be nice and squished now I'm gonna go through my meat and make sure we're completely covered there we go you just have to make sure Everything is completely covered with this, with the paste. We want to make sure all of the colors. I left it in with the lime juice for a few hours. And the meat has already changed color a little bit with the lime juice, which is what we want. What we want is that acid to really work on that fat and the sinew. To the last time I made it, I was actually eating some of the fat because it was so soft and so flavorful. So, this ruddy color of the, uh, the rojo, right, this red color is going to make this meat uh, change color a little bit, which it already did, like it did to my hand here, which is fine. So, now make sure everything is nice and submerged as much as you humanly can. Okay, see how well you can see that? Nice red, dark color. You get this nice whiff. The aroma of the achiote paste is kind of like an earthy, savory smell that's very pleasant. Okay. okay, it is three o'clock in the afternoon on a sat on a Sunday. This is my lunch and dinner for and then lunch and dinner again probably. So this looks really nice. Gonna let put this in the fridge and we will be back tomorrow morning. It's the next morning. This stuff has been sitting overnight in that delicious mixture. So now I have my pan here and I have my banana leaves. There's a, uh, it's not H Mart, it's Q Mart. Uh, not that, it's like it's more southwesterly part of Houston. You can get a bag of banana leaves like this for $2.50. 
Um, I've been paying uh, a terrible ransom for these things, apparently. So these, this is a lot nicer. And by nicer, I mean cheaper. So real quick, take these out. Gotta give them a quick rinse. in one piece which is um, great wow I'm going to have to unravel these suckers gonna... alright where are we there here's one leaf one leaf approximately three feet feels like holding a big uh, drum or something big old redfish those are the days scissors. I'm going to do what I always do here. I'm, I'm going to cut them because this thing is long, which is perfect. I'd rather it just be in one big piece and me to cut it how I need to than to have uh, multiple, like a, do a patchwork of whatever I got. I don't know if I'm making any sense. So it is morning. It is 835 in the morning. My oven is preheated to 300 degrees. It is a low and slow process. So I have layer one down, and these these suckers are big, so they cover this this um what do you call it pan. I'm not good at multitasking. When I start doing something, then I lose the ability to talk. So look at that, look at these guys. These are perfect. So I just double layer them because I don't want any of, oh, this one ripped right where I needed it to. Don't want any overlaps, or do want overlaps. I don't want any um, metal to be touching this. I just want this to be in a cocoon of uh, meat, a uh, cocoon of I want the meat, boy, I can't talk this morning. I want the meat to be cocooned in the banana leaves. There we go. Ooh, all right. So I said, these, this smells really nice. If I see a little clove like this, I'm just going to chunk it. I don't think I need it at this point. What is that? I think that is just a piece of whatever. Okay. So I just place them, place these down. I'm gonna try. See how like if I push this down, and it goes all the way to the bottom. Then it exposes that. That's not a problem. We'll fix that in a minute. But I wanna utilize the whole pan. You see, you think you got it covered, but then you have this big chunk. It's not an issue, but just be mindful of it. I wanna put all these in a single layer. I found that the single layer try not to overlap you can squeeze them all up against each other but just try not to overlap so i i found that cooking method has been very very successful to me this is a game of tetris now trying to get everything squeezed in just right See, it seems like there's not enough room, but then you squeeze up against the corner and they are there. See, it's not that big a deal. Last piece of meat, actually. Um, yeah. There we go. Perfect. So, look for any larger chunks in the meat, in the, in the bowl here. I don't know where my cloves, oh, I think there was a clove there. Just take the little chunks of meat. Are always like your bellwether anyway to figure out 
your taste test is. Just fishing for the cloves right now. Okay. Take our precious juice here. Make sure we're nice and covered. All right. Look at that. Super juicy. Make sure it goes all over the place. The point is to just like slowly, slowly cook it. So that's why we have a very low temperature to cook with. Interestingly enough, these smell, the leaves smell a lot like tea. So I'm gonna put this down. I say that because the other ones that I've bought smell like tea also. I am not, I actually have just a little too much leaf, but it'll cover everything. So what I want is full coverage. So I'm just gonna roll this sucker in and there. So let me put this here. I found all my clothes. So that was one of my goals. It smells right. So one thing I forgot to do is to take a picture. So all of this is covered in banana leaves. It keeps that moisture in a little bit better, I feel. You can do it with aluminum foil. Aluminum foil will basically do the same thing. All right, it is 8.41 in the morning. I'm gonna put this in the oven now. This is gonna be my lunch slash dinner. Put that, slide it in. Set a timer for three hours. And there we have it. Um, the preparation is a little bit of work, but not much. The time uh, that it takes is a little bit long, but you're not actually doing anything. So like, I like to let it sit overnight at, at bare minimum, ideally 24 hours in this mixture to really let it break down and let it let it cook a little bit before it cooks, so to speak, with the, with the citric acid. So now we're cooking low and slow and it'll be three hours and we'll have our, our food. So the prep time and everything is probably about 10 minutes and then letting it sit for a day and then three hours of actual cooking time in the oven and that's it. So it's, it seems like it's a lot, but it actually it's a very simple way to make a really delicious thing. So we'll be back in three hours. So let me go ahead and get a bowl of it, just a little bowl. I'm hungry. I had a little taste of it and I think it's right. It tastes really nice. bowl here because it's all chopped up into uh, these little cubes it just comes apart like nothing when it when it just falls apart when you touch it with your knife not even poke it with your knife just smoosh it with your knife then you're in good shape let's go cover this guy back up turn this light off but yeah Look at the color on that. I'm just smooshing it with my knife and it just smooshes down and it breaks into little pieces. This was, this was satisfying me for a few minutes because I want to let that sit 
for at least 10 minutes, but I'm gonna have it completely covered. So I may just let it sit like that for another 20 or 30 minutes just to let it completely rest and cool some more. And then I'll have my part that I'm gonna eat for lunch aside from the snack, of course. I have the pot side I'm gonna, piece I'm gonna eat. Um, then I'm gonna make some tortillas and have a proper lunch. It doesn't really matter. It, it, it's just for my own, it's for posterity. Um, and then uh, a couple hours later, I'll uh, wrap it all up so I can put it in the fridge and have some for later. Uh, but yeah, I think this came out perfect. That flavor permeates all the meat. It's juicy, it's tender, it just falls apart. And you rub your tongue against the roof of your mouth. Yeah, ooh. This might be the best one I've made. So for like $12, I have a meal that at least four meals out of this. I can I can make four meals out of this for twelve dollars. That are better than the, like the restaurants I usually get pay bill from. Now, the last time I got it, my wife was like, "Well, how is it compared to yours?" And I was like, "Mine's better." I rarely have that type of confidence with anything like this. Mine's better, so I'm gonna eat now. <laughs>